Where's Chloe? Why are you on my back? Why are you on my back, Chloe? I see you. Today I'm proud to present to you the 2016 Range Rover Sport SVR. It is Range Rover fastest SUV ever made. The Range Rover SVR, which stands for Special Vehicle Racing, is a large SUV with both luxurious and sportiness combined. Four-wheel drive, putting for five passengers. Under the hood, it is packed with a powerful 5-liter supercharged V8 engine, pushing out an enormous 550 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque and can hit from 0 to 60 mph in just 4.5 seconds, which makes it the fastest Range Rover in history. The 2016 Range Rover SVR offers the most advanced and luxurious feature inside out, combining modern styling and convenience with classic ruggedness and an off-road ability. The Range Rover SVR has taken the vehicle's design queue to another level. Slick lines and rearward sloping roof give the vehicle great presence on the road, the design of the SVR features a fully revised front bumper with larger ducts and the main grille finished in black. The front quarter ducts are also revised and complete in a black finish which makes it a truly sporty looking SUV with great performance in mind. So here I have the sticker to the car. As you can see all the standard and optional equipment that comes with this vehicle. So as you can see, the standard vehicle price is listed at $111,350. And with all the optional equipment added, it comes up to be at $124,911. Up front, you quickly notice the strikingly designed front lightning that adds much of a thoughtful touch to the Range Rover. Innovative xenon lightning with LED signature daytime running light blaze a clear trail in all weather conditions. High intensity retractable headlight washer and park assist are also built into the front bumper. At the bottom, you notice some changes made to the front bumper with larger ducts and grille, all finished in black, and the SVR badge located on the bottom grille as well. In the middle, you have your front surround camera, and there's the SVR badge. And a closer look at the grille with Land Rover badging on it. The hood also features two air extractor for air to pass through and it also comes with intermittent ring sensing windshield wiper with adjustable speed. Very aggressive looking uh, front end. Now moving to the side, you see that this particular model comes standard with 21 inch aluminum alloy wheel with 275 45 Pirelli all season tires. Behind the wheel is the set of power assisted 4 wheel internally ventilated brake discs, as well as the huge Brembo brake caliber painted in blue with Brembo lettering on it. The specific SVR fender, gloss black side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator, side camera are also built into the side view mirror. On top is the huge panoramic sunroof that offer both the front and the rear passengers a sweeping skyward view. It also can be tilted up or slide open for an open air feeling. Rear wheels are also 21 inches. Behind the rear wheel you also find the internally ventilated brake disc as well as the blue painted brake caliber. It also comes with all-terrain anti-lock braking system, all-terrain dynamic stability control, road stability control, electronic brake force distribution, cornering brake and heel distance control, 
emergency brake assist, trailer stability assist, as well as hill start assist. All of those which give the Range Rover SVR the ability to tackle all terrain. Tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheels. Now looking at the back, the first thing you'll notice is the unique and stylish tail light with shiny black bezel. Tail light also comes with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. Very unique and stylish tail light. There you have the SVR badge on the uh, lift gate. At the bottom is the black rear diffuser that frame the quad round titanium tip exhaust. Park assist as well as rear deflector are also integrated into the rear bumper. And a closer look at the exhaust tip as well as the rear diffuser. Very aggressive looking. Rear camera is located right above the license plate and it will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. On top you have the roof spoiler with integrated third LED brake light. Okay, so here I have the remote with Range Rover lettering on each side of the remote. On the remote I have the lock, unlock, light, trunk release and panic button. Now to turn on the light just press it once to turn on and press it once again to turn off. Now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. Side view mirror will automatically fold when the vehicle is locked. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. And all four door does come with self-closed automatic door. If you fail to close it, it will close for you. The exterior color is known as chorus gray. Featuring two-tone leather interior with silver aluminum trims and carbon fiber trims throughout. I love the sport seat in the SVR. It is very sporty and modern looking at the same time. Alright, now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, just push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Range Rover Sport SVR have to offer. Under the hood is a 5 liter supercharged V8 engine, permanent 4 wheel drive system, 8 speed automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted paddle shifter. It is pushing out 550 horsepower and 502 pound-feet of torque can hit from 0 to 60 in a fast 4.5 seconds. Top speed is electronically limited at 162 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is rated at 14 city, 19 highway, and 16 combined. Very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. So here is a look at the driver's side door panel with cream on the top of portion and carbon fiber trims. All four windows are fully automatic. And there you have the side view mirror control. It does feature folded option. And there's the Meridian surround sound speakers. There's another one here. Three position memory setting as well as the door lock. And there you have storage compartment. 
and more storage compartment down there. Ranch Rover door sill. And there's the sport pedal. Ranch Rover uh, all weather floor mat. And here is a closer look at the front sport bucket seat. Very nice looking seat. I love the way it looks. And it also has uh, SVR lettering printed on the backrest. Now both front seats does feature heated and ventilated seat option and offer 14-way power adjustable front seat including 4-way power lumbar support, driver seat memory recall 3-star position for the seat, steering wheel, as well as outside mirror. Now the 4-spoke steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather with perforated side grip, carbon fiber trim at the bottom, as well as aluminum trims in the middle looks and feel very sporty. It also features multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio, voice command as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle. Steering wheel does feature a heated option. Behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride and there's the windshield wiper control over to the left you have the turn signal light control as well as the light control. Steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering volume. Here is a look at the instrument cluster. It is all digital and features a large screen in the middle that shows the uh, main menu and you can uh, control the menu via the uh, button located on the steering wheel. There you have the heads up uh, display control. Over to the left you have the driver side air vent with beautiful carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trim. Down here you have the trunk release button, lane keep assist and enough to uh, change the brightness of the interior lightning. And a closer look at the dash. It is all wrapped in leather and the heads up display unit right there as you can see the light you can see it a lot better in person though now this particular model does come equipped with the Meridian surround sound system that comes as an upgraded option the Meridian surround sound system features 17 loudspeaker including a subwoofer which pushes out 1700 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passengers and located centrally on the dash here you have the large multimedia screen with two events on top and there's the start and stop button it is touch screen as you can see and located side by side there you have the home button the uh, parallel park assist parking sensor on and off the camera button you can uh, also view the uh, different camera angle from the outside there you have the mode button very nice sound quality media telephone and navigation button so the system is not that responsive I mean like I mentioned before in my uh, other Range Rover review I wish the system could be a little more faster you know it's kind of lagging every time you touch on something and it kind of have like a one second delay before it uh, appear on the screen so I wish they make it better next time and here we in the shortcut menu uh, screen you have all kind of different menu inside setup you have your screen system voice and audio and inside system uh, setting you have your clock adjust languages and volume preset voice and audio right there and let's see what we have on the next page there you have uh, cameras ambient light echo data stealth and auto parking aid so inside of ambient lighting you have a lot of different color that you can choose for your ambient light And on the next page you have your Wi-Fi hotspot 
Down here you have the volume control, the auto climate, emergency has a light, the uh, seat uh, setting. You can control the uh, heated and ventilated seat. And there's the full zone climate control, your fan speed. And located on the center console, you have beautiful silver aluminum trims as well as carbon fiber trims. Looks very nice. There you have two uh, cup holders and a 12 volt power plug. And there's the uh, gear shift lever. Feels very nice in your hand. So just press the unlock button and push it up to get into reverse. Side camera will tilt down and uh, rear view camera will also appear on the uh, screen with guidance line. And down again for neutral and down again for drive. Over to the left for sport or standard mode. And that's when you can uh, use the steering wheel mounted pedal to uh, change gear. Very simple and just press the P for park. And there you have the knob to uh, switch to different driving mode. Push it down for auto. And there you can uh, choose between dynamic uh, program, special program off. So you have grass, gravel, snow, mud and ruts, sand, rock crawl. And uh, there you have your hill distance control. As well as your low range mode. Beneath that you have the uh, traction control on and off, the exhaust button, the uh, button to lower and raise your suspension setting, off-road height, and there's your ASL and the auto start and stop, there's your park and brake, push it down to deactivate and up to activate. And here you have the center start compartment as well as your cool box. So you can store your beverages to turn that switch right there to uh, turn it on and off. And inside you have your 12 volt power plug, USB as well as the auxiliary input. And here's a look at the dash with SVR badge on it. It is wrapped in leather, feels very nice. And to open the glove box compartment just press that button right there. And a closer look at the seat once again. Very nice upholstery material. And it is very sporty looking. So on top you have the uh, SOS button to uh, use in case of an emergency. You also have the one touch open and close sunshade. As well as the panoramic sunroof. So the panoramic sunroof can be tilted up for ventilation or you can also slide it open for an open air feeling. Both the uh, front passenger and rear passenger can uh, enjoy the sweeping skyward view. And there you have the light control. It is touch sensitive. And there's the rear view mirror with 3 button universal garage door opener. Sun visor mirror. And there's a second sun visor with a card holder as well. Alright, now let's check out the rear space. But the uh, rear door also comes with that self closed automatic door as well. Rear seating offers seating for three. And it does come with that uh, sport bucket seat for the rear passenger as well. As well. And SVR lettering are also printed on the uh, backrest. So the rear seat offers plenty of uh, leg room as you can see. It is very spacious in the back. Here is a look at the rear driver side door panel with beautiful carbon fiber trim. And it is leather wrap all around. Rear windows are also automatic. Meridian surround sound speaker. Very nice. And there you have the door lock and unlock and the uh, storage compartment. Now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it is in the back. But first, let me show you the look to the front cabin. Very nice looking cabin. And here's the look to the top. Down here you have your full zone climate control with carbon fiber trims as well. And there's the storage compartment. 
your fan speed controlled heated seat three stage down here you have storage compartment and the uh, 12 volt power plug and more storage there so I'm 58 and with the seat all the way back I still have about three or four inches of leg room and headroom is not a problem for me as well rear seats are very sporty and it is very well so uh, padded and offer plenty of support as you can see there you have the uh, center armrest with two cup holders and here's a look to the back on top you have a handbar, a hook and your light the lights are also touch sensitive so to fold down the rear seat all you have to do is pull the lever and fold it down and this is how it look with the seat folded and you can fold the other side very nice and convenient alright now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer so the trunk in the uh, Range Rover SVR offer very decent cargo space which is uh, 32.1 cubic feet of cargo space with both of the rear seats up and if you fold both of the rear seats down you get a total of 82.8 .8 cubic feet of cargo space and there you have the panel to cover your personal item when the trunk is locked and let's see what we have down here you have your spare tires and your tool you also uh, comes with the uh, all-weather floor mat and there's another 12 volt power plug and a hook and keep in mind you can always fold down the seat into 60 or 40 split for your convenience and that's the one touch close so gas cap is located on the passenger side just push it in to open it does require premium unleaded fuel only and holds approximately 27.7 gallons of fuel that is a very big tank overall the 2016 Range Rover SVR is a full-size, high-performance luxury crossover SUV with seating for five passengers. Rear seats have enough room for three adults, and all three could fit comfortably in the back. Once again, very sporty-looking interior. And here's the look to the back. The front cabins are also very spacious with great upholstery material as well as nicely carbon fiber trims and silver aluminum trims throughout again very sporty interior and here's a look to the back once again now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front so like I mentioned uh, before, very spacious and very comfortable. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2016 Branch Rover SVR. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review. And as always, I'm going to take it out for a short drive just to show you guys how it's like sitting on the driver's seat so as soon as you get on the driver's seat you can feel the sportiness of the SVR it does feel like you are sitting in the sport SUV thanks to that uh, sporty uh, front bucket seat and the uh, throttle response are very responsive and you know what I like about this vehicle, this SUV? The first thing you step on the gas pedal, you feel that growl on the exhaust sound. It is so mean. And uh, I was standing outside while, you know, someone else driving just down the road earlier. I'm telling you, this thing sounds like a beast. It is a very nice uh, luxury SUV with a uh, high performance. It has a lot of power. No doubt it is a best, best, best. As well as the fastest Range Rover SVR ever made. 
I highly recommend this uh, SUV for family with two or three kids that are looking to travel in style with a lot of power and luxurious in mind. This thing will surely catch its many attention everywhere it goes. Alright guys, I'll see you guys next time.